Okay, so we're looking at infamous opening checkmates, part number two, fool's mate, also known as the two move mate. Let's see how it happens. Dubious pawn pushes that cause it. And then we'll look at an example of how you weaken your king and the fool's diagonal. So what's going on here? Well, first of all, you really shouldn't push this F pawn. The F pawn weakens this fool's diagonal here. And unless you've studied very deeply into openings involving the pushing of this f-pawn, you should not push it at all. There are some openings that do move the f-pawn. In fact, I like one called the King's Gambit, where white trades off this f-pawn with the idea of gaining, hopefully, a little more central control in the opening looking to do stuff like this, or this may not be the precise move order, but just getting a real strong front line. So generally we want to avoid pushing this up pawn as it weakens this fool's diagonal. Also weakening the fool's diagonal would be to push this G pawn up too. This is just not good principled play anyway. Why would you want to push that pawn up to in the opening? It doesn't really help increase central control on the board, which that's what we're trying to do in the openings. And also, it becomes quickly vulnerable to this dark squared bishop here that could take it for free. So in general, you would want, if you're going to move your g-pawn, then you're only moving it one square. And if you're doing that, it should be that you're doing it to develop your bishop to this fianchetto position. So you're trying to get this bishop on what they call a fianchetto, which attacks central square. So that's the only reason we would push the g-pawn in the opening, as far as our principles are concerned. And opening principle, we want to control the center of the board. That is the most important thing in the opening moves, is to try to stake your claim on that central board. Fool's diagonal, again, is this diagonal that corresponds on the king side of the board, on the king side of the board, between the queen and the king, such that you end up with this checkmate. It can only happen on the king side of the board where this is a vulnerability. It may be that you just move one of these two pawns. So this seems like a legitimate move. It's attacking the center of the board, but as soon as I see that, I start looking to go after that weakness. Perhaps white, you know, he's got this great square for his knight that's blocked, so he puts his knight over here. Well, this could be completely fatal. Because I'm able to just capture that knight. And now, if they capture back, it's just checkmate right off the bat. So that's why we want to be really careful about pushing the F-pawn. You really should not be pushing the G-pawn unless you're just pushing it that one square for the fianchetto. That's, you know, that's something that uh, is a solid move. It does attack the center of the board. So there you have it, the fool's checkmate. You can tell your friends you know the fastest checkmate in chess. If you found this video informative, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week.